She's starting now. All right, so we are live. Sorry about the tech issues. That's my fault. I will um, get this working a little bit earlier just in case there's tech issues on the other side. But tonight we are going to celebrate some of Tina's successes with her coaching. I'm super excited. I think celebrating our successes is so important. So often we, we see where we are now and where we want to be. And we forget to congratulate ourselves and to be impressed with ourselves and pat ourselves on the back until we get to the end. And it's all that progress along the way that adds up. It's super, super important. So we're getting a little feedback. Not sure what that's from, but I'm Sandy. I'm a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner. I just want to remind everybody that anything you hear today is for educational purposes only. So please talk to your doctor before making any changes to your diet, your medications, your supplements, and so on. So welcome, Tina. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. This is super, super exciting. So we'll get right into it. Um, why don't you tell everyone what your life, your health, what everything was like before we met? I think we started working together February or March, so it's almost been six months, something like that. It only seems like a few months, but go oh. ahead and share that. Cool. So up until meeting Sandy, I was having a really hard time with my health my emotional well-being, just a feeling of who I am, what I'm doing. I like to say that I have felt a compass with no bearing, spinning out of control, not just with what do I want to do with my life, but also with health. Um, I have a list from when I went to the best functional medicine doctor in Washington, D.C., that I brought to her on August 5th, 2017, with a list of everything that kind of was my life history of all my ailments that really started at, after high school. So I'll just run down the list. Okay. okay. In a nutshell, I started birth control and had anxiety and panic attacks, like totally debilitating. I couldn't take left turns and intersections because I felt trapped and stuck at the light too long. So I only took right turns. I don't even think I heard this one. <laughs> yeah. I didn't I didn't mention that. Uh, I had cervical ectropion because I decided I didn't want to be on birth control. So I don't know. Mess, messed up down there. Countless yeast and rash infections like on my body, the fungal stuff. Yeah, you had a lot of fungal stuff. With a dermatologist and get a prescription and go away and come back, um, rinse and repeat. Insomnia on and off for Ever. Loss of libido, pain during sex. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting personal here. That's okay. We like it. I'm all out here. Um, I figure I'll help someone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had fibromyalgia um, and definite reactions to nightshades. So, like, super pain in my hands and arms and joints whenever I ate, like, tomatoes, eggplants, potatoes. Overall pain, this is real personal, but itchy bum. It's a common one, actually. Yeah, I was like, what is this? Why is it so itchy? <laughs> um, itchy leg, had itchy armpits. I had super constipation. I had no idea. I just didn't even have context of that, like, we really should poop every day. <laughs> That's a sweet idea uh, for some. <laughs> so I had... Poison ivy really bad, and I was given oral steroids, and because I was taking a trip, so I wanted it to be gone, and I think that may have really screwed up some things. I also took a trip to Europe, uh, like a self solo trip to Europe, and while I was there, I just I went all out. I had just full blown alcohol, bread, <laughs> chocolate. I smoked cigarettes because Jeez. that's what Europeans do, right? That is true. I lived the life, and I came back uh, pretty worse for wear. I had horrible acne. Imagine that. <laughs> um, it was pretty rough. I, I had deemed it hormonal acne. I had started taking DIM for that because I read it on Google. Oh, gosh. Could contribute to why we're not having periods right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, and then... I went to the doctor because I had real itchy legs. That legs were kind of what started 
the whole like leading up to um, working with you. And I had, you know, I didn't know what these rashes were from. I thought it may be food allergy or like food related. So I went to um, an allergist and got the little in prick thing. I am allergic to many things according to the <laughs> So I stopped many things. <laughs> um, the rashes didn't go away. I went, I was like, you know, screw it. I don't believe in Western medicine anymore, but I want these rashes gone. So I went and showed the doctor and he gave me a steroid cream. It went away and I was like, see, sweet, I did it. And then they came back with a vengeance. <laughs> That's they, what it does. You gotta love that stuff. <laughs> um, and then, so I had, yeah, the hor these horrible rashes on my legs that just, it was like, was it eczema? It was weird. And then I had a rash come out on my face and that was the trigger for me. I was like, uh oh, I can't cover this one up. <laughs> so, um, so that's actually, that happened last year. And that's when I started on this whole terrible crash, destroy your health. Um, diet. Diet. So I worked with a nutritionist and a naturopath, and it was the word candida came into play, and I went nuts. I, my parents even sent me this book. <laughs> it's like, don't eat anything. It's called the Don't Eat Anything book. You don't never get to live again. <laughs> yeah. It's so. I went like crazy I'd, and I ripped out like off like a band-aid. I took out all fruits, all starches, all grains. I was literally just eating like really good meat, really good fish. Um, not much fiber really. I don't know. I did eat a lot of green like vegetables mm -hmm. and I was going nuts with bone broth and crazy things. Um, that was it. I was like, candida and gut health. I need to do both of those. That's the thing that is going to fix me. And it, it totally didn't fix me. No, it didn't. <laughs> I saw in ripping all those foods out, I, I went down and spiraled pretty hard. I was super depressed. My, I felt like my adrenals were insane, just going crazy. I was wildly emotional but very very depressed during that time and like comparing myself to others and was convinced I was never going to be able to eat anything again and I was allergic to everything and I wasn't going to be able to do anything my life was basically over and I had to write in my food journal every day so oh yeah I remember that <laughs> we stopped that really fast did. yeah um so that was my, my, most of last year, excuse me. And I just could feel myself getting worse and worse. It was coming up and the rashes on my legs were not getting better. They were getting worse. I was feeling worse. I was starting to have like brown spots come out under my eyes and my arms. I'm like, what, isn't that a liver thing? <laughs> um, so I, I went home for the holidays and it was a really stressful trip back home with my family and I had to about what supplements I was taking. I couldn't eat any of the food they were having. I just felt like a total freak um, and that they wouldn't understand at all. And it was really after that, that I was just like, I need someone to help me like this. Sure. I had a great doctor who had, awesome reviews on the website, but it was like no communication. Like once a year I would, or well, you know, once every three months that I would have to reach out to her and would get a one word response. So I just felt like I really need, need a health coach. I need someone who is going to be there to help me figure this out. And I think really deep down, I knew that much of my problems have stemmed from emotional uh, imbalances or not imbalances, but not, not sharing my emotions, like honestly, and actually just letting it out. Um, mm -hmm. so, like the other part, like I had that nagging sensation and just, I knew deep down that 
I, it was my own mind that was keeping me where I was. So that's where I, I don't even know how I found your link. I think I, I, was, I don't know, maybe a, a Candida group or probably, probably the Candida group. Which I am no longer a part of. I have left every group and I'm so much better for it. Awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. So that was, I found the link. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm like, this is, <laughs> this is, you know, she's got everything that I like. I'm so aligned with the whole mindset and treating the whole body. So, yeah, so what we did, I would love to share your food journal just so oh. everybody sees, if you don't mind. Oh. So, uh, let's see if yeah. I can figure out how to do that. Um, okay, screen share. Share your entire screen. Can you see? Let me see. Okay, let's go to here. So you can see this was the last food journal that Tina did because we, after she submitted it to me, we stopped that obsessive compulsive behavior right away. So you could see she's pretty well eating the same thing every day for, for breakfast. It was a smoothie and sounds like some really gross smoothie with steamed kale and <laughs> coconut oil and hemp protein. There's not even any tasty stuff in it, like fruit or honey. I, or I didn't know anything. That. And I think the blueberries were added this was a maybe a, like a week after we started working together. Yeah, we were like, you should eat some real food. Like, oh, like, well, maybe I'll throw in a blueberry. A blueberry, woo! That's so tasty. And then for lunch, I, like the same thing: cooked chicken, turnips, steamed broccoli, steamed kale. Like every single day, pretty much. And sure, yeah, you were you had some spices and and that kind of stuff. But I remember looking at your food journal and being like, how is she not insane? <laughs> I was insane. You were just a little bit. And it, I'm not laughing. We're laughing together <laughs> just because I'm in a giddy pregnancy state right now and everything makes me happy and laugh. So, um, and then dinner, like coconut flour fried chicken <laughs> lovers. I think that's in this book. <laughs> Oh God, that would make me throw up right now. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely you can you can see just how strict she was. And how long were you on this diet? I started that. I it was either early March or early April last year until we started wow. working together mid February of this year. So that's almost a year eating like that. Yeah. So and no I progress worse I was worse and I weighed 110 pounds Jeez. And yeah before I heard the word candida I was at a healthy 130 and then you heard the word candida and went down to an unhealthy 110 and it's sad. <laughs> it's so sad how many people are doing this to their body they don't realize the stress that they're putting on their body with these elimination diets like that is not good for you really not <laughs> Okay, so what changes did we make? What progress have you made with your health? What are you eating now? I'm sure everybody is curious about that because most people know I do not like these elimination diets, but. Um, so what was the first question? <laughs> so how, how have you progressed? What success have you had, successes have you had with your health? Really great successes. I'm a robust 131 today. Nice. Woo! So I'm like, I got muscles again. Yay! No, it's good. So I have a lot of energy. I still don't eat any processed food really. I'll have occasional like like gluten-free bread, but really I still try to eat all fruits, vegetables, and meats. Um, I don't have any like sugar, but I'll have raw honey mm -hmm. every day. Um and yeah, I, I'm sleeping much better. I sleep was a huge thing for me before because, and it just was cyclical. It would get worse because I had stress that I wasn't sleeping and then I wouldn't sleep because I was stressed that I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> yeah, it's vicious cycle. It was really vicious. Um, so I'm sleeping like really well now. I'll have occasional nights where I don't Get it if I have something exciting coming up, or like in live stream, like your first live stream that you did a few weeks ago, or a couple months ago now. Man, time is flying. Yep. Um, 
So sleeping much better. I don't, I have a ton of energy as you can tell. <laughs> so, I know you never stop. And I was up at six today. I went to uh, my store yoga class for an hour and a half before I went to work and took a walk this morning. So, and I don't drink coffee or tea, no caffeine Nice. in over That's a year. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it and you can get the energy back too. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I I think the big, really big thing for me has just been having more confidence in just who I am and accepting who I am and loving it, like loving who I am. And I know, you know, hindsight is 2020 and looking back, I had used alcohol a lot to make myself feel comfortable and feel good and you know when i went on the candida diet I, that wasn't allowed so i stripped away alcohol and i was like whoa this is pretty revealing you know i'm not comfortable with this and you know it was just it's been time and um working through that but it's been so incredible so now i can go out and i'm just like oh you poor people <laughs> Oh, feel good. So obviously the depression, the anxiety has improved significantly. Yes. Oh, incredibly. I I have occasional, like maybe once every two three months, I'll have a little spell of depression where I'm just get a little blue. And we have a coaching session. <laughs> right away. <laughs> right away. Um, but no, overall I feel really, really good. Um, I feel like I'm tangenting. Um, what else? Tangents are good. Um, so the sleep is better. Depression, anxiety definitely is better. How are the rashes? Oh, I'll show you my leg. <laughs> there is a leg there. I know <laughs> they were bad. I was, I wanted to, I was going to post some pictures of what the rashes <laughs> used to look like, but I, I couldn't find where they were in, lost in messenger land. Oh, okay. But yeah, your your rashes were um, they were rough. They were they were gross. They we were definitely rough. were. We could maybe post. Um, I'll post like a link to them once I find them in the YouTube video. Yeah, I couldn't. So last year I didn't wear shorts at all, mm. or skirts or leggings. I couldn't wear anything except flowy pants because my rashes were so bad. Yeah, I I I would be the same because those were like oozing yeah yep um what else what changes so this is a big one because yeah a big part of my protocol and the majority were running tests we're getting protocols we're trying to work on the body but you've made some significant changes in your work life and your passion um why don't we go into that a little bit how that started and okay um I put a, a note to myself that for the previous question that my food allergies have gotten so much better too. Oh yeah, that's true. What are you, yeah, because I saw you eating ice cream the other day on your Facebook post. <laughs> you said eggs for dinner. Eggs. I know. And that's a big one for you. Yeah. I had this like allergy thing. I was super allergic to eggs and I just ate an egg and broccoli. And yeah, it was good. So awesome. I, all that's good. Um, but in terms of my and, um, progress, I've, I think I've come pretty far. I pat myself on the back. Yeah. But I've always had an interest in yoga and teaching yoga. I've been practicing for about 11 years and, you know, knew that I wanted to get trained, but I literally every year had found a reason to not be able to afford it. I had really limiting beliefs about my money and I couldn't take that risk of throwing down three grand for it. And I never, I didn't even have the confidence to do it anyway. I was like, well, other people are gonna be better at me or better than me, so I'm not gonna be able to do it. And then I really, I started doing the uh, affirmations so I wrote, I have my little list, I have my list of affirmations that I say 
every day and one of them is I'm so grateful to be teaching yoga and I love sharing my practice with others. So that was something that I started to really believe and like feel what that would feel like. So that was pretty important and I am super stoked because I just taught my first yoga class this last Saturday. I know when you sent me the picture on the check, I was like, yay, this is awesome. Because getting paid to do what you're passionate about is so amazing. And I remember when we first started the mindset stuff, you were so unsure with where you wanted to go, with what was going on with your career. And I just, we really stressed leaning in. And I remember that first YouTube video that you did going live. And I gave her the homework. I said, you have until Sunday to yes. get a live stream done. Uh, with a yoga session and she literally got up and did it the next morning. I was like, wow, <laughs> that is conquering your fears. That's and it was needed. I like having somebody to hold me accountable because if it mm. was, yeah, I would make a million excuses. So it yeah. was super important. And then you just, it, it's so crazy how it just worked that somebody saw your video and then hired you to start teaching. Like it's like amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. And then I went to, um a yin teacher training it was just a weekend thing it's not the full-blown teacher training but i went to a workshop in may i sat next to this girl jamie and then like we were amicable we didn't you know we were, like had a nice time together and then i went to a community yoga class at a studio nearby a, maybe a couple weeks later and she was teaching and so we it was like oh you know we caught up and she said are you teaching i said no but i really want to i'm going to be I actually have signed up and paid my deposit for the real teacher training this fall. And so I'm going to be, uh, you know, certified at the end of December. She's like, oh, well, I'm going to be moving. Do you want to maybe take over this class for me? And I was like, do you think I can? I'm not sure. I'm not legit yet. And she's like, yeah, totally. Ask, ask Jennifer. And sure enough, she like, I totally have the skills. Yay. Thanks. Like, the, the skills are there. You're amazing at it. Well, thanks. So um, it's, it's, yeah. yeah, that that blows me away. Every time I see the laws of attraction working and people yeah. really putting the effort because I have to like you for you go really hard with your mindset work and really do a lot of work there where not everybody does. And it shows the improvement because we can we can make a lot of changes to your health and get you feeling better, which is which is really great. But when we make big changes in your life. In, in your career and your passion and your relationships, that is where the happiness and the balance comes. Absolutely. Yeah, the mindset work has been the most important thing. Totally. I, I agree. And so obviously you find that the mindset sessions and the one-on-one -on -one coaching are pretty beneficial. Absolutely. So I went home to Massachusetts again um, recently, and I was a little bit nervous because it was going to be the first trip seeing my parents after my dad had been diagnosed with stomach or not. Um, well, he had cancer, colon cancer. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, you know, it was down there. <laughs> uh, so it was going to be, I thought, a really difficult trip home. And there were some other, you know, personal concerns as well. And so I was really grateful because I. I messaged Sandy, I was like, I need help before I go. I need like a toolkit of things to help me. And we had about an hour or maybe a two hour long. It might have been two hours, but we, yeah. we, it was as long as it was needed, right? Yeah, but it, I felt so prepared to go home and it was literally the best trip home I think I've ever had. So it was, awesome. and it was having those tools and knowing like having my mind straight when I went into it, knowing how it's going to respond, what you know, the perspective I need to keep. So. Yeah, that it. The mindset sessions are are really beneficial. I find that most of my clients get so much benefit with the one on one coaching when they're getting getting the mindset sessions in, doing the mindset work, setting goals, focusing not just on their health but on on their other aspects of life. Um, so I'm really, really grateful that you came live with me. I, I know we've already worked through your live stream fears, which is, which is good. But, uh, if anybody is interested in coaching, you can go to www.motivatedtoheal.com 
and click on work with me. And I just want to remind you that on whatever journey that you're on, make sure that you're six, celebrating your successes along the way. Don't just wait till the end point. Like Tina has made some amazing progress and I'm super proud of her every single day for all the changes that you've made and the hard work that you're putting in. So thank you so much for coming live. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. And if anybody like wants to ask me questions too, I'm happy to answer um, questions. Um, awesome. So you can post your questions in the comments below and I will forward them to Tina or you can go on Facebook. Your name is Tina, T-I-N-A. -E -E. She is in our group, Motivated to Heal Naturally. So if you're not part of the Facebook group, join there and you can always tag her in a post or, or message her. Yay. So thanks so much, Tina. I will, uh, well, I'll talk to you really soon. Okay. <laughs> but I hope everybody has a great night. All right. Bye. Bye. High five. High five. We got it working. <laughs> yeah.